Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Taurians. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope you all are having a great day today, Taurus. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Hey, Taurus, listen, it's really time for you all to really tap into your psychic abilities. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I talk to too many Torians that are psychic <laughs> and don't even realize it. So we're going to get into it. So we're going to be talking about this waxing crescent moon, how it affects you in particular. Um, actually, how it affects everyone, but just how it affects you in particular. This is a general reading. These cards right here that I'm using are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Yes. Yes, and we're going to be talking about the number 75, so you all know how this goes. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal one, my, my information is down below. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Taurus as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Taurus? Yes, Taurus. Yes, yes, yes. I know y'all are having a great day. Listen, we have this waxing crescent moon that's affecting everybody. And with a waxing crescent moon moving towards a full moon, because we know towards the end of the month, the 28th, I think, to be exact, is uh, that we'll see that full moon happening, right? Where the moon is fully illuminated. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, during this waxing crescent moon, this is a time of, um, this is a time where you are, Focusing on getting what you want. What is it that you want out of this life? Knowing that you can create the life that you want as a God. I want you all to say, I am a God. Absolutely. Because you are. You're not trying to be someone else's God. You know, I think sometimes when I say that, I think sometimes people get it um, misunderstood that I mean that you're trying to be someone else's God. No, not in that sense. I'm talking about you are a God. Um meaning that you are the creator of the life that you want. You can speak things into existence. You're not trying to be someone else's God. You're not trying to make your job your God, your family your God, or anything like that, and they're certainly not making you theirs. So, well, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. They're not worshiping you. That's not what you want, right? Yes, because guess what? When people worship you, just like when they worship celebrities, um, there's always disappointment, right? And if you're thinking of God in the sense of spirit, perfect perfection then you wouldn't be disappointed so sometimes you set your expectations to a person who you uh put in that regard as if they are just a you know your god no 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 <laughs> no 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 that's a huge distraction listen some of you all have been in very challenging relationships right so when i say relationships not just romantic relationships it could be a relationship at work relationship with family members relationship um uh, it could be romantic relationship, but this mental dexterity, people would never know that you've actually gone through hell and high water because look, you're still coming up with ideas. You coming off is like, I'm really happy. This person is literally walking a tightrope while they're reading a book. So some of y'all are in school, you know, putting on a happy face, but inside it's like, oh, yikes. I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on, right? And the lot of stuff that's going on is with somebody that you felt like is a twin flame, right? But guess what, Taurus? Listen, this is you, divine feminine, but you also have divine masculine in you, right? So this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine. You are a nurturer. So this is the time when you give yourself the nurturing that you've been giving to someone outside of yourself, right? This person could be a man or could identify as a man or a woman, woman. Just because I say divine masculine doesn't mean that it's man by default. It could be just like you could be, a, you could identify as a man or woman as divine feminine, right? Yes, absolutely. But yeah, so the relationship is challenging, right? So as a Taurus, I want you all to say I'm a Taurus. I am very logical. I am generous and trustworthy. I am determined. I am understanding. I am very kind. I am organized. I'm very patient. I am reliable. I am practical. I'm devoted, responsible, stable, and I am a God. Yes. So even though the relationship is challenging, and Taurus, some of it, it could be with someone who's an Aries, right? Because this is Aries card, right? So it could be with someone who's an Aries. Again, it doesn't always have to be doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship, but in this spread right here, it's a romantic relationship where you just feel like, okay, we're just on two different frequencies. I'm up here, they're down there, this thing isn't working out. I, you know, 
it's just not working out, right? The person could also be a Gemini. They could have Gemini in their chart. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's their sun sign. It doesn't mean that Aries is a sun sign or Gemini is a sun sign. It could be somewhere in their chart. But you have chosen to rise above it, right? Again, but I need your insides to match your outsides, right? Because again, mental dexterity, some of you all are leading things at work. You all are, um, you all are like leaders at work, um, leading projects. Some of you all are in school, whole nine yards. Nobody would ever know that you're going through because you all are the pillar of strength in challenging relationships, right? And it's because you have decided to ascend. So guess what, Taurus, when, they, when you descend and the, I'm sorry, when you ascend and the person stays where they are, it causes friction. You all are not on the same sheet of music. You're just not, right? Doesn't make them a bad person. Like I said before, this is why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you, right? You have ascended. They have descended, right? They either stay where they are or they descended. In this case, your intuition is so heightened. You're like, okay, this is why it's such a tricky thing. We just cannot get on the same page. We cannot get on the same page. And this isn't working for me. Like I'm really, really trying to, you know, keep a happy face, but this thing is not working. It's just not, we're on two different frequencies, you know? And like I said, the person could have Pisces in their chart. Yes. But also here's this right here. You're focusing on doing things that are fulfilling for you, things that you love to do, right? Absolutely. And that's how it should be. Remember when this, in this, in this phase, this moon phase, this is a time where you are not looking back. You're only focused on moving forward. You're manifesting your dreams. All the things that you said that you were going to do, this is what's happening for you right now. And so this is where you are. This is where everything lies. Your money, your your abilities, the life that you want, the whole nine yards. It's not being selfish, it's self-care, right? This Empress card is Venus. So yes, um, are you a psychic? Probably, <laughs> probably, probably so. I talk to too many Torians who are psychic and don't even realize they're psychic. Instead, I start until I start asking questions, right? Let's say, for instance, if you met somebody and you felt like you know, you met somebody for the first time and you feel like I, you've known this person from a previous life. Like, you know, it's like, gosh, we said we, we just met and we're sitting here talking like we've known each other all our, our whole lives. That's psychic potential. And let's say um, you become really, really emotional around full moon time. I want you all to watch out for that, too. We have a full moon coming up on the 28th of this month, March 28th, full moon. I want you all to see, you know, leading up to that, are you becoming more and more and more emotional? Let's say also you have a wild imagination where people are like, okay, that's kind of different, <laughs> Taurus. Again, you're not just made up of your one sun sign. You have moon, rising, Venus, and all the other placements in your chart, right? So you may be different from another Taurus, right? Another Taurus may feel like, okay, that is just complete hogwash. It doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense to me. When my imagination starts going off on a tangent, I'm going to pull it on back and just say, nope, doesn't make logical sense to me. Also, <clears throat> when you think about someone or you pick up the phone to call them, um, they're calling you, right? You're thinking about that person. You're like, I haven't talked to so-and-so and I don't know how long. And then boom, you're thinking about them. You just put that thought out in the universe and boom, they call you, right? Also, sometimes when you're with somebody like this person right here, you all are saying exactly the same things at the same time, right? It's like they're about to say something and you say it at the same time. Not like you're watching their lips and sort of anticipating. It's like, Oh, shoot. <laughs> we are saying the same thing at the same time, right? Also, um, if you happen to travel, for instance, let's say you go on a, on a trip and you just kind of sort of lose your way, your sense of direction just pops right into place. It's like, okay, I don't, this is a foreign place for me. I've never been here before. Okay, all of a sudden, you're just, you're heading in the right place. Let's say you go somewhere and... Um, <clears throat> Let's say you go somewhere and you don't even speak the language, right? And somehow you get lost. You hop on a train, you know, it's in your language and another language, that foreign language. And you go somewhere, you're like, oh, shoot, I'm lost. <laughs> you find your way back. All of a sudden, your senses kick in. That's the God in you. That's your intuition kicking in and just telling you. Also, you keep having flashes of intuition about things that eventually do take place. Yes, yeah, psychic abilities, psychic potential. So again, this is you slowing down 
and listening to, because again, raising your vibrations, you're on a different frequency, right? So this person could actually be lowering their vibrations just because they don't understand where you are at this point in your life, Taurus. And that's why I'm saying, listen, hey, this is about you doing the things that you love to do. Because guess what, Taurus? They could raise their vibrations too. That's the truth of the matter. Remember, you are a God, but you're not their God and they are not yours. So you're not, you're not going to descend because they descended. If they choose not to ascend with you, then there's some decisions that need to be made, right? Number 75 actually channels joyful freedom from a place of serenity. There's no way you're serene when this is occurring, right? Yeah. Challenging relationship. On the outside, nobody could ever know, would ever know that you've gone through a challenging relationship. But because on the out, you're you're dressed impeccably, <laughs> you're walking a tightrope, but you're not even you're not even phased. It, you give the impression that you you're like I'm not gonna fail. I'm good, right? Yeah, you're a very solid, logically thinking person. But again, but again, um, you're putting on a happy face. You're still coming up with tons of ideas. You are very, very successful. And everybody around you is like, wow, Taurus is really just, I mean, just, I mean, the perfect person, the perfect life, perfect everything. But they don't know behind closed doors that there's this thing going on right here that is really, really a distraction. And so you all are trying to stay as focused as you possibly can. But I'm telling you, Taurus, if this continues to occur, you have some decisions to make. So yes, yeah, 75 channels joyful freedom from a place of serenity. It also means that you realize that listening to your spiritual perception inspires you to be adventurous and actually to take risks. So again, you, you, you can't force a person to not be on your same frequency. If they're not, they're not. And on top of that, Taurus, you don't really need them for closure. You really don't. If you just decided one day, okay, I'm not calling that person back anymore, and I'm just moving forward, I'm going to block their number, I have nothing else to say to them or whatever, it's not even that you're upset. It's just that, you know what, I choose me. <laughs> That's bottom line. I choose me. People are waiting around for, you know, an apology or for this or for that. Hey, if you have been patient and you've been in a relationship with the person again and you feel like, okay, I have tried, I have really, really tried, it's time to now cut the cord and move forward. Yes, that's what it's time for. This is the, we're talking about moving, it's, um, stepping into the vibration of the number 75, which is extremely, extremely powerful. Yes. <laughs> Taurus, let's get into it. Yes. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else these cards have here for us. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And listen, let me show you something. Let me show you something. A lot of you all are at the tail end of all the drama. Really, you're at the tail end of it. It's been a long and arduous path. Like, how long can you exist on two free, two different frequencies? It's like riding in a car. And, you know, you remember those knob radios? Um, you know, when you turn the knob to, to uh, switch between frequencies, between stations, let's say yours is, uh, I don't know, 78.5 and theirs is 76.5. In between those stations, they're static, right? So if they're, how long are you going to stay in a relationship where it's constant static? Not long. I can tell you this right now. You're not going to stay there for too long. This waxing crescent moon, and we know that the moon governs our moods and our emotions, our intuition and all of that, right? So again, we're moving towards a full moon right here. This full moon exposes everything. Sometimes people say things they don't even really mean to say during the full moon. They feel like they're making hasty decisions because their emotions are all over the place. It's exposing everything. It's also exposing that they could be manipulative. They could be liars. They they could be sneaky. They could have talked about you behind your back or whatever. Sometimes people telling themselves and they don't even realize it, Taurus. So yes, you don't even have, I mean, you just, I, you, listen, two good people really could be bad for each other. I mean, that's just it, you know? Here we go. Your sleeping will even become better as a result of you moving on, making a final decision. Your business is going to take off, and I'm talking about wildly successful. Your business, a lot of you all are entrepreneurs. This is where you're really tapped in fully to listening to your intuition, the God in you. You are a God. You're listening to the God in you, leading and guiding you along this path. 
relationships don't have to be tricky. Work relationships, business relationships don't have to be tricky. Friendships don't have to be tricky. Love relationship, a romantic love relationship, platonic love relationships don't have to be tricky. If you're not on the same frequency, guess what? You're just not on the same frequency. You can't force a person to be on your frequency if they're not ready. Yeah. So focus on your business. <laughs> Yes, here we go. King of Swords. You see things crystal clear now. Yes, you sat down. You took a moment. You were like, you know what? It is what it is. We're just not on the same frequency. Let me move on with my life and let them move on with theirs. Yeah, and look at you. Boom, creating legacy wealth. Yes, the less static you have in your life, the clearer things become so that you can start to create your legacy wealth. It is time to just let people continue to just descend out of range. Right? This full moon that's coming at the end of the month is no joke. That's all full moons. People don't even realize the things that they say and do during these full moons. Yes, but your focus is tight, Taurus. You hear me? You're focusing on legacy wealth. Like I said, sleeping better. Things have been exposed and they're being exposed. That's why I said move forward. Don't even look back. Don't even think about looking back. It won't even make any sense to even think about looking back. For what? This is about you balancing out your energies, getting your power back. Again, you don't need anybody else for closure except you. No relationships in your life need to be tricky. None. 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 It's okay. And, and another thing, too, is that if you stay, if you overstay your time, if you allow somebody to overstay their time in your life, it almost comes off as phony because you can't even hide it, right? And you certainly don't want to come off as phony, like a person who is just like, you know, just totally disingenuous, right? Flow like water. You just let things flow. You just continue to let things flow harmoniously in your life. And again, if people are not on the same frequency, again, yeah, not your problem. Matter of fact, Taurus, I want you all to start saying, speaking of flowing like water, <clears throat> when you're meditating, money flows to me like water. I am wealthy. My business is wildly successful, okay? Again, you don't have time to sit there and try to pull somebody up by their bootstraps that's not ready to be there. You take that energy away from that energy, you take that energy away from that person and you put it on your business and on the things that you love to do. And this is what I see for you, being creative, focusing on the things that you wanna do and not looking back. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Have a great one, bye.